Alright you guys, welcome back to uh, ARK here on Bateman Gaming. And uh, as you can see, we're not on Extinction. We are actually on my Ragnarok server. I know I've uh, I've talked a lot about like my base here and everything, and uh, how that this server is boosted. Um, it's not it's not overly boosted. Like it's not like on like creative mode or nothing. I mean, we still have to gather stuff. The gathering's just uh, doubled. The taming is doubled. Um, the difficulty's turned up, so the creatures spawn at a higher level. Like the max level they spawn here on this map is 165. Uh, the dragons, the highest dragon egg I've ever seen, I think it's level 202 or 203, and that's what some of mine are, but, uh, yeah, let's check this out, this is my yard here, as you can see, it's kinda, kinda overrun with, uh, dragons and critters and whatnot. I have, uh, two of each kind, except the ice dragon, the ice wyvern, I only have one of them, where is she at? Where is she at? That's a good question. I may have left her at potty mouth space. Oh, nope, there she is. What are you doing way down there, princess? It's my ice wyvern. She's princess. This is my T-Rex. I tamed this one. I uh, have not bred it. I've done a lot of breeding on this. The breeding settings are turned up. I really like to do the breeding and stuff. But, uh, yeah, this is my T-Rex here. I, br I tamed her. White chick's the movie. Because it's hilarious every time I look at it. Uh, got a tech raptor out here. I'm going to show you the interior of the uh, the castle that I built. It's not quite finished, and then we'll fly around and I'll show you some other stuff uh, on this island here. And this is just going to be a short, short little video. I just really want to show this off a little bit. As I said, it's not finished. It's never finished. I tamed uh, I tamed her actually the last time I was on, like a week or two ago. I just saw her, and I was like, she was almost max level, and she was really pretty. So I was like, hell yeah. Uh... This one here is tamed. I have a bred one upstairs. Potty Mouth just dropped this off to me. <laughs> he was like, hey, I brought you a scorpion. I was like, well, hell yeah, I don't have one of those. I tamed her before I even started this castle when I was living in a thatch hut, which I'll show you where that was. Uh, it's my, uh, my uh, kangaroo-type dino there, Ruru. Two allosaurs here that I've been breeding. That's why I got them caged up. Gremlin in Miami. I bred both these raptors. Potty Mouth found a couple of them. Potty Mouth also brought me this. I just logged on one day and there it was. I was like, oh, well, hell yeah. And this bear. <laughs> I want this bear. He was like, hey, if you want that bear, I'll bring it to you. <laughs> brought it to me and I named it I want this bear oh I love it I love it I turn around here and I got a couple trophies there I have a alpha and wyvern trophy a alpha rex trophy and the uh, death worm the the um, the one that's in the ice cave that death worm go up to my second level it's actually four levels on here and this elevator takes us to three of them this is my uh, hatchery slash smaller dinosaur breeding level. As you can see, I have bred a lot of Argentavises. Like, most of these here were bred. These two are males that I'm leveling to breed with my highest female, who I'll show y'all. I'll show her to y'all soon. This was my very first Argentavis that I ever tamed. And I still have it. Like, on this, on this server, on this map. This is the first one I ever, ever tamed, and I still have it. Oh, good old Nightwing. Potty Mouth brought me this, too. Big effing cat. And, uh, yeah, I got some, uh, refrigerators here full of some, uh, some kibble and some different eggs. Uh, and I got uh, yeah, a bunch of kibble and some wyvern eggs here. See, look, this is, uh, 203 is the highest wyvern egg I've ever seen. But I have two of them, so I don't need another one. My industrial cooker. This is my AC room. And this is my fireplace room. Of course, this is where I put the guys over here. Gypsy Girl. Gypsy Girl was the first Argentavis I ever bred. And if you look, I've got some mutations, some good mutations on some of them. Like, you look at Chicken Legs here, and his stats are insane. But the stats are, uh, I think the stats are turned up just a little bit on the dinosaurs. Like, maybe the health and stamina, or the weight and stamina. I'd have to look. I think it's just the weight and the stamina that we've turned up on the dinosaurs, though. Not everything. But if you look at his ancestry, he's got three different mutations, and you see... Emo chick, 
emo chick, man. That was uh, that was my favorite one, and I lost her. She died. It's a sad, sad day. But enough with that. Onward for the tour. No, no, I don't want to de-elevate. I want to go up. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh. Oh yes, that's right. The top of my castle is made of glass entirely. I personally gathered every bit of crystal, cementing paste, and metal to make this shit. You have no idea. No idea. We're probably looking at like close to 10,000 crystal right here. I gathered it all. And yes, the gathering is turned up, but you know, it's not turned up that freaking high. I still have spent hours and hours and hours just gathering crystal just to, to build this. Uh, we don't spawn stuff in on this server. Um, the only thing we've ever spawned in was after we unlocked tech stuff when we beat uh, the bosses on the island. Uh, we spawned in some element because we could not figure any possible way to get element on this server at the time. So we just spawned in some element so we'd be able to use the tech fabricator, tech replicator. And that's it, really. Like everything else we've gathered ourselves. I got my chemistry bench. I got my little personal room here with my little my little personal vaults. Got some backup stuff, a bunch of skins in it, angler gel, some some paint. It says I gotta repaint my armor, which I'll show you guys. I have my I have a whole bunch of other stuff in here, <laughs> a bunch of junk. Uh, let me show you. Hold on. Toggle third person. Yeah, my armor is painted up uh, black and blue. If it would load in, that sure would be nice. Come on, load in for me. You can do it. Okay, there we go. Now it doesn't look so crappy. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of nice. Some of my uh, equipment is also painted that way as well. The sword is actually, it's got really cool, really cool paint colors on it if it would just load the hell in. Load the hell in. Got that skin on there. It's nice. This is my, uh, <clears throat> my griffin. Quality Joe. I tamed a lower level one. And, and you guys got to understand, I know it says 281. But when you tame something that's close to uh, close to 165, like say you tame something that I think he was like 145 or 148 or something when I tamed him, and then you feed him kibble, they have a really high freaking tame effectiveness. So they come out at like level 230, 240 if you tame near max level one and you feed him kibble. So yeah, like he's 2 281, but he's still got a lot to level. But I had a I had a lower one that I had tamed first that I actually used to tame this one. And I had called him Average Joe, but when I got this one, I gave Average Joe to uh, Jamie. Jamie plays on this server as well, and I'll show you guys his base. I know you've, I've talked about it a couple times, his base that he, uh, he built out of pieces that he got out of gathering drops. Like, he would rather go gather the drops than, uh, <laughs> he'd rather go gather drops than gather stuff to craft. And that's why, even though, like, I'm level 105 on here, he's not even level 100 yet, because he doesn't craft anything. This is Dirty South. This is my dragon slaying Argentavis, you guys. I go and slay dragons with this thing. She is, uh, she's the best of all the ones I've bred. Um, you see she's got a badass saddle on her. And the way we're crafting saddles or an equipment with the durability we have, or with the, the damage, see the damage is 755, that's the most we can get a weapon to come out at, is we turn the amount of points you get in your crafting up uh, on the server settings so that when we put points in our crafting we get even more so we craft uh, higher level recipes when we craft it from like ascendant recipes or mastercraft recipes or something like that we get a higher result uh, but as you can see yeah if you look over here from the last time I went and slayed some uh, wyverns with her she's got a lot of talons so yeah she is a badass let me show you guys her ancestry. She has five mutations. And uh, yeah, she's bred through and through. Chicken Legs and Red Sonia are her parents. She's uh, absolutely beautiful. And she's got that off-white, like that dirty white there. And the red and the blue. And uh, yeah, Dirty South just seemed like a perfect name. This is Thor. He was my first Wyvern. My first high, high level Wyvern. Look at you, you're such a pretty man. And uh, I just built this addition onto the top because I had to extend the roof higher so this would fit. So uh, I went ahead and built this and I have my Ark Survivor trophy here. And we have 
some artifacts. I think I have most of the artifacts here, like one of each one. And I've gathered all those. Like I said, we don't spawn shit in. Um, we, we have the settings turned up because the main reason we have the settings turned up the way we do is because we don't have the, uh, we don't, time, man, time. Like, there's really just two of us that play most of the time. And time becomes an issue when there's not, you know, when you don't have a big tribe, you have a small tribe. Everything takes a really, really long time in this game. And I play a lot of other stuff. And, uh, so yeah, yeah. But, um, let's, uh, I got my little back deck here. I also didn't show y'all. And if you look, see, I built this here. This is all walled in except for that spot there. I was going to build a thing, but I realized it didn't line up how I wanted it to. So I'm just going to wall it in completely. Um, I was going to build an elevator going all the way down there. As you can see, it is literally up on a cliff. And I was going to wall all that in, but then I thought, you know, I feel like it looks cooler when you can see it. Because you can see that it's literally up on a cliff. And I got some sharks that I've bred down here. Destiny. I had built a, uh, I had built a, a platform here just to park all my wyverns on, but, um, there was an issue with our server. I don't know what happened, but it, like, went completely blank. Like, it, like, reset completely. So we had to, uh, roll it back to the, the most recent save on the server, and, uh, it was before I built that. There's my, my Quetzal. I bred her. Stone Cold. Potty Mouth brought him to me. I've never actually tamed one of those. Potty Mouth just brings me all kinds of stuff, but, you know, like, we, uh, I don't know, we play this a lot together, me and him. Most of our other friends don't get on with us anymore. It's fine. And I have, uh, here's my, this, this island right here is actually my island. And yes, I know I could have took one of the wyverns and it would have been faster, but I just love Dirty South so much. Plus, I feel like the Argentavises are much more maneuverable. I just have a little modest greenhouse here. It's uh, just enough to grow, you know, what I need. It's actually more than I need. And then if we come over here, there's a lot of obsidian and metal right around here. Like, right around this general area. Like, a uh, freaking shitload, really. <laughs> We come over here, me and Potty Mouth built this. Actually, let me show you over. Over here, I had a thatch hut that I had built. And it was a pretty decent sized thatch hut, to be honest. You see the metal nodes there? Uh, pretty decent sized thatch hut. It was just one story, but I had built it and I had uh, like my smithy and my fabricator and everything in there. And I lived in there while I was starting the castle. And um, it was during this time, this early time on the Ragnarok server, that me and Potty Mouth built this here. And I love this sign, so I'm going to totally show it off. Bateman Black Joey Metalworks Inc. presents the Forge of Power. Uh, yes, on this uh, on this server, Potty Mouse character's name is Black Joey. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, a Forge of Power. And this is my, uh, my bread. Anklo, and you see its movement speed is at 441. Let me just show you guys this shit. Fuck a slow Anklo. And I'll, I'll hit a couple things so you can see, like, you know, our gathering rate is turned up. So, like, I mean, these are rich metal nodes. I don't know how much I'd get if it was on normal gathering, but yeah. Yeah, turn this bitch around. So fast. So fast. Like, I haven't put anything in on all his levels. I've just been putting it in his speed. Because I'm like, man, I'm not trying to take forever to gather this damn metal. You know, like, these things are slow. Um, so, yeah, we have our polymer maker of power. Potty Mouth put that there. And, uh, yeah, we kind of went overboard with it. With the smithy of power. The materials of power. The extra stuff of power. Blueprints of power! Yeah, we went we went crazy with that shit. We were having a good time, though, man. It was a really good time. Um, but yeah, let me... We'll do... Uh, we're gonna go over here, and I'll show you Potty Mouth's very first thing that he ever built. It's pretty much a castle or a tower. I'll show you Jamie's thatch hut pieced together from stuff he found in drops that's on the backside of Potty Mouth's Island over here. We basically uh, found these three islands and realized there was nothing aggressive that spawned on them, and we're like, okay, well, at the time, there was four of us playing, and Brandon and, Brandon, well, Dino, Dino and Casey always play together. 
uh, because they're married. So they took one of the islands, I took one of the islands, and Potty Mouth took one of the islands. And we basically just said, or we have our little, our little taming thing here, or we just fly stuff back here, and we'll just drop it in there and tame it. Um, this is Potty Mouth's castle. It's his first build. It's uh, it looks modest enough from outside, but uh, yeah, it's it's really really intricate inside. It's crazy. Let's go down here. Kill this Bronto for y'all, just to show y'all what old Dirty South can do. She's so tough. Like, even before I had that saddle, I just recently, like, we just found... We've been playing on this since the freaking private servers dropped, and we just found uh, a blueprint for an Argentavia saddle. So, it was super, super recently. I mean, like, this month, last month. It was in December sometime, uh, like, mid-December. So, I just got that saddle. But even before she had that saddle, she was, uh, she was still pretty tough. Because she has so much hit points. But that saddle with all that armor on it, that makes all the difference in the world. Like, now, I mean, I still have to be careful when I'm taking her to kill Wyverns, though. Because Wyverns will still absolutely murder her. But, it's a little bit harder for him now. Where is... It's around on the other side. Look at that freaking... Look at that thing, man. Almost want to tame it. It's probably not high enough level. We we pretty much only tame stuff that's like 150 or above on this server. But uh, why wouldn't you if you could? You know. And that's also another reason why I'm so excited about playing on the default settings on Extinction because as fun as it is to play like this, it it is it does make it a lot easier and it takes away a lot of the challenge and difficulty. Like even if I die and lose all my stuff, I know I can just gather and craft you know, more stuff that's just as good. Just gather materials, smelt the metal, and all that crap. Because we're so well established and set up. Here is, uh, Jamie's Wyvern that we gave him. Um, I don't even think he was with us when we got the milk to, uh, raise that thing. He definitely wasn't with us when we got the egg. He just got on and we were hatching Wyverns and we were like, hey, we got a high-level egg, you want it? Here's Average Joe. I gave that to him. Uh, Zapdos, I actually don't know where that even came from. Did he, did he raise that himself? Oh no, it was wild, it was tamed. Still though, it was probably given to him. And he's got, he's got his one artifact that he gathered at one point with us. And he actually built this stuff up here, like of course he didn't get all the generator and the fabricator and, uh, the grill out of, out of drops, but the house, like all the pieces for the house came out of drops. I think Potty Mouth fixed this up here for him because he couldn't figure out how to do it. But yeah, that's... His house is actually stone now. Oh, it's just partially... Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> that's Jamie's house. And now we will... Hold on. Should have took a griffin for this. That would have been so much faster. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't. It's okay, though. Because it gives me time to talk and talk about, you know, our start here and everything. And We're going to fly past my house. And I'm going to show you what is now our our kibble farm. Um, it was Dino and Casey's house, their first base. Uh, they built, I think, two more bases before they quit playing. Um, it really sucks they don't play anymore with us, but that's the way it is. Uh, yeah, I definitely think I'm going to stop at my house and pick up my griffin, though. That would have been much faster for this little walkthrough for you guys, and I'm, I'm really sorry about that. It's okay. I wasn't thinking about it. I just I, I just love my Argentavises so, so much. As you can tell, I have an entire floor full of Argentavises, and it's almost time. Those two males are almost high enough to start breeding with uh, Dirty South, and what I'll do is I'll breed them until, like, I get extra mutations from the dads. And then I'll use those to, like, get more bread together. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, this is the house. My castle. And I was gonna build, I was gonna put, uh, like, a big floor across this part here to park all my dinos, because they take up a lot of space in front of the house. Uh, the, especially the wyverns. Go over here. Just because they take up a lot of space in front of the house. Oh, hell yes, Shinobi. 
I definitely will check that out because I'm going to be doing some stuff on Extinction, like some grindy stuff, and I won't be streaming. So I'll definitely watch you uh, do that Resident Evil 2 demo, man. Shinobi just sent me a message here. And this is, uh... Oh, no, no. No, no. Don't fall in the water. Bastard. This is our kibble farm. It used to be uh, Dino and Casey's house. Roses, thorn. And some crazy looking, crazy looking dinos here. I like the way they did their build though with their uh, their industrial forge is partially inside and outside so they can access it from either. That freaking, that's a metal motorboat that they built and they put a bunch of those uh, those plants that attack on it and they took it and killed a bunch of stuff. I really wish we'd had that on video. Dino was telling me I should re reset it up with plants and do it again. Poor Dino and Casey. That is a high level for ammonia. The party bus. Big bird. And I think, I think Casey's actually still in a cage over here. Let me see. Yeah, there's Casey. She's in a cage. Oh shit, son. Here's all our all our animals that we get eggs from. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. A lot of them. So yeah, I mean, like, all that kibble was made. But yeah, uh, that is, uh, that's the basis we started at. That's where we started on, uh, Ragnarok. We built here first, and, uh, Potty Mouth has expanded out a lot. And like I said, Dino and Casey have, uh, also built a couple other bases. Um, really, this is the only base I've built here, and it's because, uh... It's because, dude, I spent so much time gathering all that crystal, to be honest. I mean, there's a lot of stone, too, and there was a lot of logistical issues. Like, there was a lot of issues with, like, how do I get this to line up the way I need it to, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, it worked out good, and it's going to get dark. This is the perfect, uh, perfect time to end the video. Our nights are really short here because uh, it gets really, really freaking dark, and it sucks. But, yeah, it's going to look really nice. Here in a minute when it does get dark. Turn this on. So cool. All right, you guys, that is uh, that's the video. That's the tour of my little island base and my castle that I built. And uh, I really appreciate you guys checking it out. You know, and uh, if you like it, like it. And if you want to see more videos like this and uh, of other games as well, like, you know, I play all kinds of stuff, uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, as always, I'll catch you next time.